Hello, I'm Sonia Wood here from Oikos and today I'm talking to you about minding your own business. Now I don't mean that in any rude manner, it's actually the title of this book and I really like the title of the book because one of our founding scriptures is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 11 where we encourage to mind our own business and to work with our hands. It's our second founding scripture here at Oikos, our first being Matthew 6.33, seek first the kingdom of God. Our second being this one, Mind Your Own Business. And Raymond and Dorothy Moore, the authors of this book, Dr. Raymond and Dorothy, Dorothy Moore, are now deceased, but they have left some treasures with us. We've got a few of their um, books that they've written that we offer you here from Oikos. But this is the one I'm going to talk to you about today. And it does. it's not just about actually business and home industry and so on. It's, there's actually a lot more to it than that. I'll give you some examples. I'm going to read from the back cover. It says, this book is going to cover the importance of mutual respect of parents and children. You see, that's got more to do than just running a business. How to teach your children financial responsibility. Information on potential startup problems and costs. How to not be part of the wasteful generation. The fundamentals of starting a home business. Creative ways to recycle and what to recycle. Practical ways to serve one another. Suggestions regarding taxes, insight into product quality, ideas for home businesses and marketing tips. I could really expound on each one of those titles, but there's not really much point to do that because it would take quite a while to do that on, on a short clip, which we're trying to keep this short. It would be better for you to discover it for yourself. Even if you're not planning on running a home business, in fact, I don't want to say that because every child can value from entrepreneurship skills. I'm convinced of that. And so this little book is just going to help even with home industry, little cottage in industries that you can perhaps get going. As a home educator, you can do that. And in my view, it would be very important to do that. And this book is going to help you to do that. If you feel like, well, you don't know where to start. You've heard from what I read at the back. It, it actually gives us guidance on where to start. Even if you're starting with just recycling and getting your children into an awareness of the importance of recycling or having mutual respect for one another or how to serve one another. So you see, it's not just about running a business, but the main theme of the book is about starting your own business and running, running a business from home. Let me, let me take you through the contents to expound on that. Part one, how to manage your home. This section is mostly about organization, how to coach young financiers, how much are you worth, the wasteful generation, recycling, happily making new out of old, they who serve are twice blessed, organization, just a little bit at a time, so don't get scared or overwhelmed. Actually, I've, I've done a video series on fear, so if you've got some fear in your way, you can perhaps watch that the top 10 fears that people have of home education. Okay, then we've got part two, home industry, the miracle of work, how hands build the head and the heart, why cottage industries are special, how others do it. There's a lot of family testimonies there of other people's experiences, which is helpful. A few home businesses, finding money for your industry, when the handicap become assets, preparing for employment, something for single parents too, considering the laws and the demands on that. So I think maybe I shouldn't say much more about this book because I'm, I'm hoping you agree by now that if we want to raise sensible, responsible, self-disciplined, motivated young people for their adult lives, well then this is going to be a supporter book to help achieve that. I do hope you agree and that you will also find it to be so. Thank you for watching. Bye.